Hello everyone and welcome to this video. As requested, today we're going to try and get Battlefield 1 working with Vorpex in virtual reality. Sorry it took a little while. Storm Doris knocked out my internet for a few days and I've only just gotten back online. Now there's no profile for Battlefield 1 within Vorpex itself, so what we're going to have to do is download a cloud profile, which is a profile someone's already made for it, and also tweak some of our in-game settings to get it just right for us. So let's take a look at my desktop and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is actually launch the game without Vorpex and the Oculus Home open, so it's on our screen. So let's do that now. We're going to customize some of the options in-game. Now once you've got the game open, go to More, open your Options menu and your Video Options. You want to put the game in Window mode, scale it however you want, it seems to automatically scale. Disable Vertical Sync. We're going to apply the maximum field of view in here, because it seems to go pretty high, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I, what I've, from what I've read, uh, setting at the max uh, seems to be the way to go. Motion blur off ADS field of view. Yeah, let's put that on, see what happens. And let's go in our advanced settings. Now in the advanced settings, you need to make sure that DirectX is off, because Vorpex doesn't use that. Put your frame limit at whatever you want, as long as it's above 90. And just choose any of your other custom settings. I've got all mine on low right now just so I can get the best possible frames. Apply the settings and let's go back. Okay, play the game to a point where you can save and it generates all the config files and then quit the game. So there's a few other things that we can do now to further optimize the game for a better experience. Open your libraries, go to where your documents are, Battlefield 1 folder, in the settings folder, now edit the prof save underscore profile file, which will be there once you've played the game to a point where you can actually save the game. Open this, we're going to look for this, and we're going to change the value here on this to this, and for the width, for the width we're going to put this. Okay, great. Save the file, close the file. Okay, now is the time to configure Vorpex. So let's start up Vorpex, right click configure, there's no profile, so we're going to download one from the Cloud Profiles. So once you're logged in, go to Cloud Profiles, type in Battlefield 1. And this profile I've read seems to be the most used, um, the best one to use. So let's uh, right import profile here. So now that will be, here we go, Battlefield 1. There's nothing in the game settings optimizer, but don't worry, we've just uh, optimized our game settings uh, manually, so just apply and close. Now let's open up the Oculus app, launch the game and give it a try. Fingers crossed, everyone. And once you're in game, just hit the middle mouse button to zoom you right out of the screen and navigate the menus. Let's go to campaign, because this is not online. Play War Stories. I've never played this game, just to note. Storm of Steel, I think that's... Okay, I'm not sure, so I'm just going to press it. I don't know if you can tell, but I keep pressing and repressing the middle mouse button, just so I can read different things. Okay guys, we're in. Even without editing any of the Vorpex settings, it's... It's okay. I just want to shoot some people, see what it's like. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm going to pause the game now and see if I can edit the settings, see what my settings are like. Alright guys, so I haven't um, actually adjusted many of the settings. The only thing I've done is I've lowered the head tracking settings down in the Vorpex options menu. To open the options menu for Vorpex, just press the delete key once you're in game. My settings are all on default, I haven't modified any of them. Uh, geometry, separation 1.2 height modifier nil, uh, image settings is pixel 1 1, image zoom 1, game hood depth 0 0.89, game hood scale 1, game hood scale horizontal 1, and I'm fine just playing it, I mean, I'm fine just playing this game all on these default settings, like I said I've lowered the head tracking and everything's everything's running great for me, so just experiment with the settings and until you, you feel comfortable, here's a bit of gameplay.
Thanks for watching this video guys. If you've liked it and it's helped you, give me a like and drop me a comment below. I always love to know what's going on with everyone and if you have any special requests or recommendations, do let me know below and I'll try and get a video up ASAP for you. Peace out guys.